Oh, hi. Hi, YouTube. I'm back. It's me, your favorite very flexible YouTuber. Um, so I wanted to film a video today. And I didn't know what to film and I was like, I can't do what I did last time, which is just talk about nothing for 12 minutes. So I was like, let me think on this. And then I was like, I want an ice latte. Ding, ding, ding. I've never showed you guys my ice latte recipe. It's amazing, spectacular, show-stopping, never before seen. So it's a iced vanilla almond milk latte. This video is really just an excuse for me to have a latte at 4 p.m. So, so I'm gonna go show you guys how I do that in the kitchen. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Sorry, because I still don't know how to act on camera. It was a really long break. <laughs> I really don't know how to behave, okay? Cut me some slack, guys. Because I'm new to this. Let's go, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. We made it. Okay, so I kinda have to like squat to be in shot. Also, I think this is crooked, sorry guys. You didn't subscribe to this channel for cinematography. <laughs> and that's a fact. Which, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please do it. Okay, so we are here in the kitchen. Here's our trusty dusty espresso machine, which if you don't have one of these, um, sucks to suck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my God, this camera's so bad. Guys, stay. <laughs> don't move. If you don't have one of these, I think you can make this with like, I don't know, French press, but just double the amount of tablespoons of grounds that you put in there. I'm not a coffee expert. I just am addicted to caffeine. All right, so I moved the camera a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is gather our ingredients for this coffee. Also, sorry if I'm talking kind of quietly. I'm shy. No, I'm filming in my house. I don't wanna be loud. So here are our ingredients. We have espresso beans, which <laughs> I don't know who put this in this little container, but I, will, I guess my mom, maybe, I don't know. She emptied the grounds into this little tin, but this is just like the Cafe Bustello espresso grounds. Um, but you can use anything to be completely honest. Like you can use like coffee grounds and just, you, they just have to be like ground really fine, like as an espresso grind, I don't know. And then I have almond milk. This is from Aldi very fun and exciting. You can use any kind of milk you like. Oat milk, almond milk. Oat milk does taste really good in this recipe. Um, anyways, and then I just have the little like Starbucks syrup, <laughs> the little syrup. And this is really handy. Um, you don't have to have like the Starbucks brand. The Tarani brand works really good too. But what I like about this is it has a little pump thing, which is like handy. Cause like one pump is like half a tablespoon. So it's easy to like, this wasn't on completely and I just got syrup like all over my sock in the floor okay I cleaned up the, the spilled syrup <laughs> that was so stupid um what was I saying okay so vanilla syrup from Starbucks and like I said you can use any syrup um you can use like caramel I don't know what other flavors are there also ice ice is good too <laughs> guys this is so awkward I'm so sorry if you've made it this far thank you please consider giving this a like Stay. Stay. No. Oh, that might stay. It might not. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our handy dandy espresso machine, or if you're making this with a French press or one of the little pots, you're gonna go to that and you're gonna prepare that. So I just checked that it had water in and I turned it off. <laughs> and the next thing we're gonna do, the next thing we're gonna do so we're gonna take our grounds and um, this these things, and we're gonna put this thing in here. We're gonna smush it down so it literally clicks. Guys, as I said, I'm not a professional barista, um, but comment down below if you think that I should be and can be. I obviously have the talent, the uniqueness, and the charisma. <laughs> Guys, I'm putting these grounds in here over the floor. The things I do for you. And you're just gonna fill it up. Not really to like the top. 
you just want it to be like loosely in there and like kind of to the top, like almost. You can, you can kind of see it. Again, I keep going out of frame, sorry. And you're just gonna take the tamper thing and tamp your grounds. And here's when you can check that you have enough. So there should be like that much space in between like the top and where the grounds are. Am I doing an amazing job explaining this? I think I am. And now you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it in the thing. Now you're just gonna need like a cup for the espresso to go in like first. Um, this is not gonna be the final cup. Just cause I always, I do like a small one cause big ones don't fit under there. So just like get a small cup to put the espresso in. All right, and that's on and it's gonna make a very loud noise and you just wait for the espresso to be done. And once that's done, you're just gonna take it and like put it in a bigger glass. Um, again, if you have like a bigger machine or you're making this hot, this is unnecessary. And you're done. No, I'm kidding. So now you're gonna take this and you're still crooked. Why do you guys love to be crooked all the time? Now we're gonna put the syrup in the coffee or the espresso. Um, and like depending on the day, I'll do like one pump, which is half a tablespoon. If you don't have a little pump, you can measure it out. Um, and then sometimes I like two. Depends if I'm feeling a little crazy. Um, today, I'm gonna do two. I don't know why I'm laughing. You guys are making me laugh. Stop. Stop. I'm serious. Now you're gonna add your almond milk. Your Aldi off-brand almond milk. Which, honestly, there's really not much of a difference between this stuff and like silk or whatever. You know what almond milk is good though? The Trader Joe's almond milk. Or as they label, almond beverage. That stuff is so good. It's like thicker than normal almond milk, um, but it's really good. So now you're just gonna add this and like, it depends for the person, like how light you like your coffee. Why can't I talk? Literally cannot talk, Bleh. cannot talk today. Um, yeah, it depends how light you like your coffee. I don't like mine super light, but I'm like, this is like a nice shade, you know? Um, I like to be able to taste the espresso, especially with like two pumps of syrup. Like I don't want mine like super pale or anything. Now you're gonna get your straw. And also I unbuttoned this. I don't know if it's cuter buttoned or unbuttoned. Um, I just have like the one button, I don't know. Is it <laughs> Wait, what is it, fashion? Stir this. Just to like incorporate the vanilla and the almond milk. Um, the reason I do like the almond milk before ice is because I don't like when my ice melts. Like I know a lot of people add like the ice into the cup first before the espresso or anything. I'm like, you do you, but the almond milk cools down the espresso a little bit so the ice doesn't melt as much, which to me is what sets my drink, my latte, apart from the others. No one wants a water down latte. And we have reached the final step, which is ice. And normally I would just get, oh, also remember to wash your hands like in between all this. Sorry, I can't finish a sentence. Normally I would just get like normal ice from the fridge, but I brought, <laughs> I brought this home from college. Um, it's like my favorite thing in my dorm room. It's, oh, I'm. it's upside down. <laughs> Look, it's a little skull ice cube tray. <laughs> Can you see it? Those are so cute to me. It's a little inconvenient because you have to like pour the water in through like these really small holes and then it gets everywhere and then it's like hard to get out and also it only makes four, but it's skull shaped ice. Also four ice cubes is like not enough for this. Oops. So I add like normal ice cubes too. Oh, for anyone who wants to know, I got these on Amazon and they're very cute. They have like diamond ones on there too, like little diamond shaped ice things. Very cute. I highly recommend, they're very fun. Ooh, ah, my hands hurt, it's so cold. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna add my normal ice first. All right, and they're in, and that's the whole drink. They make me so happy. You can't see it. It's so stupid, but I love those little skull ice cubes. And now you have the most perfect, amazing, beautiful, spectacular, tasty, 
I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? Now you have this latte, and it tastes very good. Of course, I would expect nothing less from me. The best barista in the world. I applied to Starbucks, um, but they never called me back. And we're back. <laughs> and you guys have acquired my sacred, secret recipe. Guard it with your lives. Why is this here? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. If you did, please remember to give it a, a big thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It's okay. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to this channel. Also more of Buddy, the real star of the show. And if you want to be notified every time I post, <laughs> tap the bell button to get my notifications. That's it. I'm going to drink my latte um, and have way too much caffeine for 4 p.m. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day let me just throw i don't know what i'm doing as i said the camera makes me act up i cannot be held accountable anyways that's like actually it for the video this necklace looks weird with this i don't know this is a weird little i don't <laughs> i need to go bye